Chapter 4 Skill Development and Employment Nineteen, Vocational Training and Self-Employment The appropriate government shall formulate schemes and programs including provision of loans at concessional rates to facilitate and support employment of persons with disabilities, especially for their vocational training and self-employment. The schemes and programs referred to in subsection 1 shall provide for Inclusion of person with disability in all mainstream formal and non-formal vocational and skill training schemes and programs. To ensure that a person with disability has adequate support and facilities to avail specific training. Exclusive skill training programs for persons with disabilities with active links with the market for those with developmental, intellectual, multiple disabilities and autism. Loans at concessional rates including that of microcredit. Marketing the products made by persons with disabilities and Maintenance of disaggregated data on the progress made in the skill training and self-employment, including persons with disabilities. 20. Non-discrimination in employment no government establishment shall discriminate against any person with disability in any matter relating to employment, provided that the appropriate government may, having regard to the type of work carried on in any establishment by notification and subject to such conditions, if any, exempt any establishment from the provisions of this section. Every government establishment shall provide reasonable accommodation, and appropriate barrier-free and conducive environment to employees with disability. No promotion shall be denied to a person merely on the ground of disability. No government establishment shall dispense with or reduce in rank an employee who acquires a disability during his or her service. Provided that if an employee after acquiring disability is not suitable for the post he was holding, shall be shifted to some other post with the same pay scale and service benefits. Provided further, that it is not possible to adjust the employee against any post, he may be kept on a supernumerary post until a suitable post is available or he attains the age of superannuation, whichever is earlier. The appropriate government may frame policies for posting and transfer of employees with disabilities. 21. Equal Opportunity Policy Every establishment shall notify Equal Opportunity Policy detailing measures proposed to be taken by it in pursuance of the provisions of this chapter in the manner as may be prescribed by the central government. Every establishment shall register a copy of the said policy with the Chief Commissioner or the State Commissioner as the case may be. 
22. Maintenance of Records Every establishment shall maintain records of the persons with disabilities in relation to the matter of employment, facilities provided and other necessary information in compliance with the provisions of this chapter in such form and manner as may be prescribed by the central government. Every employment exchange shall maintain records of persons with disabilities seeking employment. The records maintained under subsection 1 shall be open to inspection at all reasonable hours by such persons as may be authorized in their behalf by the appropriate government. 23. Appointment of Grievance Redressal Officer Every government establishment shall appoint a grievance redressal officer for the purpose of Section 19 and shall inform the Chief Commissioner or the State Commissioner as the case may be about the appointment of such officer. Any person aggrieved with the non-compliance of the provisions of Section 20 may file a complaint with the grievance redressal officer who shall investigate it and shall take up the matter with the establishment for corrective action. The Grievance Redressal Officer shall maintain a register of complaints in the manner as may be prescribed by the central government and every complaint shall be inquired within two weeks of its registration. If the aggrieved person is not satisfied with the action taken on his or her complaint, he or she may approach the district level committee on disability.